Well, hello everybody. Welcome to this special edition of Mike's Video Garden. Right now, you're looking at a pretty little tea towel that we got in our kitchen. I thought that looked nice. Look at all those purple and white flowers and the teapot there and all of that. Boy, that's pretty, isn't it? But that's not what we're going to be talking about in this video. What we're going to be talking about is uh, we're going to give you guys a review of a product that came out many years ago, but I found one on eBay and I thought I'd buy it because one of the biggest things about doing this channel is when I make a video, I'm doing this right here with a iPad. It's an iPad about a year and a half old. It's called an iPad 5. It works just fine. It's got all the newest features and everything. But when I do a video, I got to hold it with both hands. Unless I turn it this way, then of course I can do it one-handed. But I don't want to do it that way. So, I wanted something I could hold in one hand. So I went to sign up for eBay last week, and on there I found this little item right here. I found this Kodak camera. This was made about mm, close to, I'd say between 8 and 10 years ago. It's called the ZI-8. Z is in zebra, I is in ice cream. ZI-8. And it works all the way. There's nothing wrong with it. And I will prove it to you right now if I can uh, see the camera. I'm going to push the little power button here. So stand by. And I'll show you that it does work. Now the only reason it's dark now is because it's underneath that towel. That if I lifted it up, see you can see it. How about that? See you can see exactly what I'm filming. But anyway, this is the Kodak ZI-8 video camera. When these came out uh, about, oh, like I said, 8 to 10 years ago, they sold for quite a bit of money. I got this one. I got this one off of eBay off the mail truck yesterday. It took about a week to get here. I got it from a seller, a seller in uh, Indiana. Uh, I got this for less than 20 bucks. But there was one disappointment I had about the camera. Only one. And that disappointment was it did not come with the original cables. It did not come in the original box. And it did not have the instruction manual. But it did have the carry strap, and it does have an 8, I think it's gigabyte, SD card in it. And you can see that by the little symbol there. It says SD. And then here's your battery, how much power you got in your battery. And then right now I have this set to just picture mode. Uh, if I uh, was to move this over one time, see I'd be on the video mode. But right now, I'm only in the picture mode. Okay? And there's different mo different modes and everything else. Would you like to see a picture I took yesterday? Okay, let's see if we can find a picture I took yesterday. So I hit this button here. And let's see if we can find a picture I took yesterday. Okay, here's some pictures of our garden. And I'll have to explain what these are. Uh, this is one of our beefsteak tomatoes plants that's out there okay so let me go to the next one uh, this is one of our squash croup neck squash another croup neck squash there uh, here we have our Roma cherry and our big boy tomato plants and on this far plant here this Roma I'll show you in the next picture we started getting as of last week we started getting as you see right there we started getting some little blooms that's cool. There's some of our roses. We are not our roses, but our red flowers we got. These were plants from Lowe's. And then finally, guess what these are? These are cucumbers. Yeah, we put cucumbers in a small pot. I don't know why, but we did. <laughs> but there's our cucumbers. So that's really cool. If you want to record a video, you put it right back there and you can record. If you want to delete something, you go to this little trash can, and then your settings are right here. 
and I put in the date yesterday when I got the camera and the correct time. The last date I saw on here, it said uh, 2010. So that's all cool. So what do you guys think of that for a camera? I thought about we could use that to make some garden videos. Uh, and I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, would you like to see the back of it? Certainly. I'll show you the back. There's the lens for the camera. And as you see, it looks pretty good. There are no scratches on it at all. None. Uh, and on the sides, you have different things. Like, uh, here's your SD card deal. Uh, this right here is your uh, USB port. You pull a little handle right here and this pops out. This is your power button for your off and on, on your power. That little button right there. And then you have your... Uh, this is not a headphone jack. Everybody thinks that's a headphone jack. That is for a microphone. You can plug uh, you can plug a, a 3.5 millimeter microphone plug in there, like a standard handheld mic. This is your HDMI for your, uh, uh, if you want to watch this on your big screen TV. Now the only catch is you do have to have an HDMI plug that's the smaller, has a smaller end as well. So one end has to be small and the air has to be big. And then down here you have your adapter plug in for your uh, your a your AC power or whatever that is, but you have to buy the adapter. It didn't come with that. So, pretty nice little camera, huh? For twenty bucks, not too bad. Works all the way. Uh, powers off and on. There's the off. Just says Kodak and disappear. So, uh, got the strap with it too. Not. Not a bad little deal for $20. Not a bad little deal. And that was my first ever eBay purchase. And I just got that yesterday. So, pretty happy about that. Uh, we also want to send a kind word out to Bill and Tommy. Up there at Old 64 Goat. Up there, I believe it's in Connecticut. Uh, you might want to check out their newest video. Tommy had a ZE-1 Kodak camera he had bought. But the power button was messed up on it. And a guy named Ron C. fixed it for him, and they got that camera back, I just, I guess, within the last day or two. And I'm sure Tommy's very happy to get that camera back, because it looks like it works really well. So these older Kodak cameras, folks, give them a try. Um, you can get them on eBay and um, the other shopping deals out there. I think you can even get them on Amazon that are used. But hey, I paid less than 20 bucks for this, and it's pretty good. And compared to this iPad I'm using now, I have to use two hands to hold this. This here is only going to be one hand. Plus, I got a tripod, and I put it on this tripod that I have, and it does fit really well. So, But I'll be getting an HDMI cable today for this. I found one for 5 bucks over at, at one of the dollar stores. I think it will work pretty good. As long as, as long as I can see it on the TV, that's fine. So anyway, I just want to make you a little review video in case you thought about buying one of these old-time Kodak cameras. We're going to start using this to film some garden videos so uh, soon. But my next, my absolutely next garden video, our next garden tour video again will be filmed with this one here. Not, not this one yet. So you all have a great day. Stay inside. It's hot out there. In fact, here in Oklahoma, we're under heat warning. I'm doing this video on Friday, June the 5th, by the way, 2020. So it's 95 degrees right now and it's almost 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So... We're supposed to have heat warning again tomorrow. And then Sunday and Monday, I think, it's supposed to rain a little. It was supposed to rain, in fact, last night, but it never did. All right, we'll see you guys the next time then, right here on Mike's Video Garden. Thanks for watching, and bye for now. Don't forget to support Old Goat 64 and Allotment Diggers on YouTube with Mark over in the UK. Don't forget to subscribe and like to all. Thank you. God bless y'all. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.